Hey guys, welcome to your new tutorial about the power of Excel. In this tutorial I will show you how you can create useful functionalities applicable in multiple domains and bring you the power to create with Excel what others do with more advanced tools like Visual Studio. Stay tuned and you will learn great things. In this tutorial I will show you how uh, you can create a data grid view uh, that is uh, nested into a form and uh, manage this data very easily. In order to start we will use some simple data that we will consider it as data search and we will go to Visual Basic, add uh, a new form in which in order to look more professional we will add first a frame and within that frame we will add our control which will be a list box this will act as a data grid for the for this list box we should uh, set up uh, column heads to true about that okay now we would need a button and the button it's here for which we will say show data good and now we can also give some color to this some yellow a little green and of course for the button okay uh, and now uh, in order to display the data in our uh, grid we should establish some uh, some range that will should, will be considered for example as we see our range will be a2 g13 so we go to the bottom first of all we set the number of the columns that will be displayed in the grid which can be done like this list box one dot column count equal to seven because as you can see here we have seven columns and then in order to bind the data to our data grid we will say uh, list box one dot row source equal to our range a2 g23 you, know, you remember that we've uh, we've saw that with uh, the select good so incredibly but this is all what that we need in order to display the data here now in order to uh, test this project we will add a button here near the data in order to do that we will uh, um, add a shape i encourage you to use a shape because it's much more elegant than the classic uh, square button you draw the shape go to the shape effects and from the bevel select these options in order to look much more like a 3d and then we will set the text to show list we will center it and we will assign a macro to it assign a macro new micro you see that it automatically uh, took to the event click of our button and we will say user form one that show okay and uh, i think that's all we need in order to test it let's press the button show list press the button show data and as you see we have the data in here from this we of course we can advance and uh, make a uh, much more complex tool for example we can add here some filters in order to filter the data select from some combo boxes and then show data but this I will show you in a uh, next episode and uh, in which we will uh, advance with this form and finally it should look like this to have here in the top the um, combo box and then when you after you display the data in the grid you will select the rows and the uh, information will be hit will be uh, added down here from where you can uh, 
uh, edit the data and also I think we can add a save button or an export or everything you, you, you need uh, so uh, I hope you guys like this tutorial so please give a like a comment subscribe if you found it useful also and if you have any other suggestion on any other videos you would like to see let me know in the comments below thank you bye